This is Glass Board Learning. I'm Mr. Chen. Let's do some math. Here are the problems for today. I want you to pause the video and try them out yourself first. Then press play so you can check your work and your answers with me. All right, let's do it. For number eight, you have two linear expressions. You have n plus eight plus n minus 12. First things first, we want to get rid of the parentheses and guess what? n plus eight plus n minus 12 is the same thing as n plus eight plus n minus 12. That doesn't really matter because you're adding the two linear expressions together. We can just take off the parentheses. So I'm just gonna write n plus eight plus n minus 12. Now we can combine like terms. I have an n there, I have an n there. I have two n. And then I have an eight minus 12. Our answer is going to be negative. That's going to be negative four. So my answer is two n minus four. Or if you want to be that guy, you guys can write negative four plus two n. Yes, that's the same thing because of the commutative property. For number 11, you have two x minus six plus four times the quantity x minus three. First things first, I'm going to distribute the four to the x and then to the negative three because right here, what it really is saying is you have x minus three, but four times that. You have four times the quantity of x minus three. Let me write down two x minus six first. And then I'm going to distribute four times x. That's going to be four x. And then four times negative three, that's going to be negative 12. I can combine like terms. I have two x's here. I have four x's here. All together I have six x's. And then I have negative six, and then I have negative 12. All together I have negative 18 or minus 18. And six x minus 18 is your answer. For number 20, I have two linear expressions, 6d plus five minus the quantity two minus 3d. Uh, hmm, this is a little bit of a tricky problem, but let me go on here first and write 6d plus five. And this is where a lot of students get it wrong. They see the minus, so then you have to distribute the negative to the two because you're subtracting two, you're taking away two. And a lot of students forget to distribute the negative to the negative 3d. Negative times a negative 3d, when you're taking away a negative 3d, you're actually adding 3d. Now that the parentheses are gone, we can combine like terms. I have 6d here, I have 3d here. Altogether, we have 9d. And then I have five here, minus two. Five minus two is just three, positive three. So my answer is 90 plus three, or if you wrote three plus 90, okay, that's the same thing too because of the commutative property. For number 21, I have four minus five y minus two times the quantity of 3.5 y minus eight. Whew. Just like what we did last time, we need to distribute the negative number to this linear expression here. But first I'm going to write four minus five y. That's gonna be the same. And then I'm going to distribute the negative two. Negative two times 3.5 y is going to be negative seven y. And then negative two times negative eight. This is where a lot of students forget to distribute the negative to the negative. If you take away double negative eight, you're actually adding 16, not subtracting 16, you're adding 16. Now we can combine like terms. I have, uh, let me see, I have four here. I have 16, four plus 16 is going to be 20. And then you have negative 5y and negative 7y. All together, you have negative 12y. If you want to reverse that and want to write negative 12y plus 20, yes, that is the same thing too because of, that's right, the commutative property. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest updates. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.